hello all and welcome back to a new video i'm emily and this is emily pops and in today's video we have a little game hunt i've finished work and i'm going to head into chorley um i'm not sure what i'm gonna buy aiming to there's two games i want to buy there's an xbox 360 game and there is a ps2 game um and yeah Ideally, I'm focusing on the 360 today. This hopefully is going to be a new channel challenge of the project to get all 360 games. I'm not sure what it's going to be called yet. And thinking maybe challenge 360. Don't know. That's just what's on the top of my head at this moment in time. So we're going to head into Chorley and see what they've got there because unfortunately all the spider-man games i wanted to buy have all sold out on cex great <laughs> I am back from town and I spent a total of 57 grit no 55 pounds and 10 pence so let me show you what I got so I ended up getting a steel book but not a game steel book I ended up getting a blu-ray steel book in kick-ass uh yeah i had a feeling blu-ray steelbooks would go for a bit and i bought this for 10p and it trades in for two pounds so yeah you can't argue with that uh yeah that now joins my ever-growing cex trade pile uh yeah and I ended up getting five games in total. First up, we have my charity shop pickup. Uh, I spent £15 on this game. This game does tend to price up their games, but at CEX, it cost you £22 for this game. I found it um, a couple, about a week and a half ago, but I didn't buy it because I didn't have money but i picked it up today and that game is silent hill homecoming apparently it's it's an all right game obviously you know how i feel about horror games but i feel like it'll be a fun kind of game for me to play on a stream of sorts and you can witness me being absolutely terrified i don't know if it comes with a manual but i'm not too bothered i know i spent 15 pound but it is £7 less than it would be at CEX, so I can't really argue with that. So, yeah. And then we've got a little brown bag. I spent £40 at CEX. They didn't end up having the... Uh, they didn't end up having the PS2 game I wanted, which was Future Armour. Uh, it's been there for weeks. I should have bought it weeks ago. So that's kind of on me. Uh, yeah, so uh, we've got four games from CEX. Here's the pile here. All of these were on my list of games to get, so that's good. First up for five pounds, no manual again, but I'm not that bothered. Uh, we have Injusted, uh, Injustice Gods Among Us Ultimate Edition. So I paid five pounds for that. This one is the one, no uh yeah so five pound it's not got the manual the disc is a bit dirty so i'll have to see if that works but yeah five pound for injustice next up we have a lego game this one does have the manual which is good i do believe this is the most expensive lego game uh so that's exciting and it is lego lord of the rings i have quite a few lego games now um how many do i have one two three four 
this is my sixth lego game this is ideally the next set i want to fully complete so yeah i spent 10 pound on that and it does have the manual next up we have a hd collection uh, i think this is my first hd collection on any of the consoles i own and as i mentioned earlier all of these were games on my uh wish list uh, to get from trolley cex the disc of this is pretty good and it comes with a manual and for 10 pounds we have the devil may cry hd collection i've been seeing quite a few people playing uh, devil may cry at the minute so i'm excited to get into it so on this we've got devil may cry devil may cry 2 and devil may cry 3 special edition so good stuff and finally the game i think i mentioned before that i was getting this game does not actually come with a manual it's actually also in the wrong case that's interesting uh yeah and for 15 pounds we have the amazing spider-man 2 uh yeah so that is everything i got i am excited to play this i need to play the first amazing spider-man first and as i mentioned i want to get all the spider-man games i almost bought spider-man uh shattered dimensions uh on friday and i backed out of it and now it's completely sold out on cex i then almost bought uh spider-man uh which what's the other one edge of time that's also sold out um then i went to buy uh spider-man friend or four that's also sold out which is really annoying <laughs> but this isn't and it's spider-man the amazing spider-man 2 so that is everything i got i'm pretty happy with what i got five xbox 360 games to add to the collection i'm not sure how many i'm on currently but i'll stick it on the screen now and yeah i hope you all enjoyed this video i hope you enjoy this new kind of series and yeah i'll see you all on sunday for another hopeful episode of project gamecube peace